Hey, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, the big news today, of course, is, oh yes, Obama's new plan for recovery for the United States. Although, it looks like the same plan with a different cloak. Oh, wait a minute. In other words, same thing. Oh, yes, they just renamed it, which is, oh, the way to improve the economy is to spend more money, hire more people, and then the economy will get better. Where does the money come from in the first place? Oh, yes, you got it. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> Neil Cavuto and <laughs> I can't even remember it. Bill O'Reilly. And Bill O'Reilly from Fox. Cannot believe that this man is too smart. How could this happen? Well, you know, they're talking about Obama. They, they said that, you know, that, that they're beginning to get the idea that he's a rigid ideologue and, and to say the least, he may actually be a socialist. <gasps> he actually might be? Yeah, like, you know. Newsflash! Uh, I mean, uh, you know, this is why we got, you know, actually BS is still in Las Vegas, so we got Mad Bull over here. Uh, but Mad Bull will tell you that if you hire a guy to be the head of your economic council that says that there's no evidence that, that, um, that uh, higher wages result in less hiring, yeah. And that, that there is no evidence that higher taxes results in less hiring. And that there is massive evidence that you, higher wages results in more jobs being created and more unions are better for the country. Uh, most people get the idea that even O'Reilly and Caputo, that this man might be a rigid ideologue and not going to change his plans. But he has changed it. Uh, I, I know I've got Rex. Rex can't hear these things. You've got to cover Rex's ears. The President of the United States is now going to call anyone un-American that does not want to spend money. Ooh. Even though three out of four Americans in this nation, including more than 50% of Democrats, have said stop spending money. No more stimulus, no more government jobs programs, none of this. His plan is for more stimulus, more government jobs programs, and more unionization. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, but I mean, that's all new plans, though. That's right. Well, that's why we're having problems, because we didn't spend enough. That, that's what they're all saying, the people on the left. We should have spent two to three times more. We can't, they can't, they, they, they can't pay back the money he's already spent. And they're talking, we should have spent three to four trillion dollars on his programs. And Hurricane Irene was a major bust, but being treated as if it was the storm of the century. Oh, God. I mean, they're still, even though the, most of the media, most of the responsible media is pounding away on the irresponsible people that did this cut. Okay, but we'll put it this way. Fox News is in the rear pocket of the President of the United States. The President of the United States came on and made the announcement it was a storm of historic proportions coming. So they went and got a whole bunch of people to work for Obama. Mm -hmm. You know, their paychecks are signed by the people that are under Obama who said that, you know, this is tracking to be one of the major storms of the century. You know, this and that. Well, the problem is, as any school kid knows, I mean, I wrote a thing about it, you know, an editorial about it, and I, you know, for you, I got who, but uh, every school kid knows that as soon as a hurricane hits warmer, colder waters, it dissipates. Guess what happened with Irene? As soon as it got into colder waters, it went from a class two to a class one. This is a bloody rainstorm. They've mm -hmm. had rainstorms in those kind of, those states before. It's just this time they were for, they uh, they were prepared for the epic hurricane of all times and weren't prepared for flooding, which mm -hmm. they should have been prepared for. Thanks to our president and Fox News, Fox News did lead the irresponsibility portion. The other cable, you know, CSN and CNN followed right behind, but Fox News was at the top with 24-hour coverage. And still, this is Tuesday of you know, the asteroid, and Fox News is still. You know, the flooding is like, the guys are walking around, there's no water anywhere, they're on the beach, sun shining in their shorts and sandals. I don't know what we're going to do, you know. I mean, it's just, you know, I, I, I'm okay, I'm going to give Rex, you know, I'm just going to give you a tip, folks. The President of the United States is prepared to have an emergency announcement. He's going to come on and say, we understand that a newborn baby may be overflow a diaper this week. Ooh. It can have catastrophic problems for society. It could bring the end of mankind as we know it. And we must do everything we can to prevent that baby diaper from overflowing. And Fox News, oh my God, Bill O'Reilly's on the air. I don't know what that is. He's panicking. You know, Neil Cavuto's panicking. Sean Hannity's panicking. And Roger Ailes is saying, we've got to find that baby. We've got to cover that diaper overflowing. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't believe that? 
<laughs> it's not true? <laughs> I'm totally like... <laughs> this is a commentary, folks. This is not straight news, so... And Fox News has spent a week looking into the possibility that the moon is made of green cheese. Oh, yeah. And that. might fall into there as killing millions with a melted cheese. Uh, that's what one of the critics has said about Fox News. That they're so irresponsible. Okay. I come from the era when you would see uh, Dan Rather, you know, holding on to a building as the wind is blowing his toupee away. Or Matt Lauer actually having his toupee blown <laughs> off. Or Katie Couric with her skirt up around her head from the storm so bad. And then these guys are out there, uh, yeah. You know, well, the storm is coming. We expect it to be here by this time tomorrow. Just the next thing then, they're in their shorts and their t-shirts. It was a major storm that went by. It hit us suddenly and so quick we weren't able to get out here in time to cover it. Mm -hmm. Because there was no major storm. It was a bloody rainstorm is what it was. Mm -hmm. So. And Obama considering entering the Eurozone to save the American economy. I know. He figures that doing what they've done that failed is going to work here. This is, this is what it is with socialists. Socialists think that uh, everything that everybody else did wrong was done wrong because they weren't socialist enough. So if we did it, we were more socialist, it would work. No, the Russians even gave up on it. The Chinese gave up on it. Mm -hmm. They're basically they're, they're basically socialized capitalism now. Which basically, you make money so you can afford to be a socialist. Mm -hmm. And social security disability threatened. Oh, I know, I, I put Rex away because it hurts his ears. Everybody but the president knew this. Everyone but the president knew it. You know, I don't, actually, I don't think it was not on his teleprompter. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't watch television. He admits he does not watch television because there's nothing on it that he thinks is worth watching. That includes Masterpiece Theater. Oh, really? So, but because there's a lot of white people in Masterpiece Theater. But he has no idea of it. I mean, they said he made his announcement yesterday that he was appointing to a guy that basically was going to keep following the trends of spam, 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 union, 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 rules, rules, rules. And he had three teleprompters to do it. Oh, really? He, because he wanted to do, and, you know, and, and uh, so, you know, but then they pull back and you see that he's not talking to the audience, he's, he's looking at his teleprompters, which they said is the most incompetent president in the history of this nation. And Obama blames his falling rating on Bush and the Republicans stopping all his jobs programs. I know, that's why he, he said that again Saturday. That if, I mean, I, you know, every, okay, here's a good one, that 51% of the people in the polls blame Bush for not, for blame Bush for the fact that they're not working now. And then I heard the one person say this morning, you know, I, one of the Democratic pollsters said, I don't know who the hell is taking these polls, Bush is not president. I mean, what question? They said, that I said, I saw the poll question. They never said Obama. He said, do you blame President Bush for causing your, your job losses? Bush is not president. They didn't say Obama. They said President Bush. He said, so therefore, if you have no choice other than Bush, who are the majority of people going to pick out? Mm -hmm. That's what the woman said. The one reporter said for the Democratic side. I said, I would have thought it would be higher since he was the only person. You had an either or. Do you blame George Bush or do you not blame George Bush? Mm -hmm. You know, so she said 51%, only 51% blame the only guy on the line, so. Uh-huh. And two justices may decide the fate of Obama health care law. Yeah, one of, but see, the problem is it doesn't make any difference if you throw out one on the right, one on the left, it still ends up on the right. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, uh, the majority is to the right. If you take one right out, one left out, you still have four to three. It's um, still a restriction. They want Clarence Thomas excused, and they want uh, Janet. Uh, they want him, you know the woman that he, you know, the softball player, tossed out because she filed all the papers with the Supreme Court and stuff all over. She filed all the legal briefs. Oh, really? She has to be tossed out. But Thomas does not have to be tossed out because his wife was involved with the healthcare industry. That that does not mean that he has to be tossed out. Oh. Because his wife, his wife can run, a, be in a business. And his wife is a lobbyist. And um, <laughs> Wing Walker dies after fall at the Michigan Air Show. You're not supposed to. Okay. Um, and you're not supposed to be on the wings without being fastened down anymore. You're supposed to be wired in. So somebody was not obeying the rules, folks, because they basically have, you can't see the harness from the ground. Mm -hmm. Somebody obviously didn't have a harness on. That was kind of stupid. Yeah. Or maybe the harness broke. 
Well, probably not. My, my guess is it didn't have the harness on it. Mm -hmm. A New York factory index contracts for third month. Well, yeah, because it's just it, it, everything is collapsing, folks. I mean, I just we just got a revision in there last week. The economy, you know, stock market is booming on on consumer spending. Today they just made the readjustment. You know, there was an air, a slight air made. Consumer spending was down once again. Mm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, the, the problem with token incompetent politicians is they actually don't know they're incompetent.